everybody and welcome back to another video. I've got my sunglasses on right now because the hay fever is real and my eyes are so sore. So just bear with me when I've got the sunnies on because I can't look at anything or anyone. I feel like it's rude to like not, but I just, the sun is burning my retinas. So just bear with, all right, thank you. Um, but today we are in one of my favorite places, which is Costco, the place we all know and love at this point. A year ago, I filmed a video where I only ate Costco food for a day and everyone loved it. Everyone said they wanted more of like doing stuff in Costco. I think there's sort of a weird fascination with Costco. I don't know what it is. And actually I watched a whole documentary on Costco the other day on Netflix, it was very interesting. But what I find interesting about supermarkets and what I find part of the pleasure is that everyone goes with different thoughts and different things that they get excited about. Like at Costco, you'll speak to someone and they'll be like, oh my gosh, I love this. Or I love the hot food counter, or I love this. And everyone has a little different piece of Costco in their heart with them at all time. So I thought, Seeing as I introduced my brother to Costco many moons ago and he loved it, I thought I would get my brother to choose what I'm going to eat for a day. Because obviously I have a very specific palette. We know at this point what I'm going to pick because I'm a creature of habit. So I thought, let's see what my brother's going to pick for me. Um, so we are at Costco and we're going to go in and see what Brother Booth picks for us. How does that sound? Let's get going to Costco. Well, well, well. If it isn't the brother. Right. Here we go. You gotta pick me everything that I should eat for tomorrow. A laptop. A laptop, I'll take it to be honest. You know when kids do stuff with a GoPro on, this is how I feel. It's <laughs> Just... weird of you to laugh. Hello. <laughs> what could be problematic here is that Jesse has very different eating shifts and food choices to me. So this could go very interesting though. It's actually very quiet. He's really panicking. Where are you gonna go? <laughs> this is so interesting. Oh. He said chuck him in. First thing, going in. Jesse keeps asking me, yeah, should I do that? <laughs> oh, cherries. Nice. What the heck is going on here? This is so funny. What's taking his fancy and what's not? <laughs> what's funny is <laughs> he like rubber necks. He's like, oh, second, who's there? It's really hard because I'm seeing things that I'd normally get. The cookies, so good. The carrot cake. I'm trying to not say so I don't infiltrate into his brain. Oh no! Where's he going? What's, what is he gonna do? This is Jesse's favourite thing in the world, prawns. It's so intrigued but upright. He's really not filling up. I thought he would fill up, you know. I would get that or those. But Jesse has said no. This is so hard to not tell you what to get. I will say, I would love to know if there's a correct way to go around Costco. Because everyone has their different little maps of how they navigate it. I feel like you can avoid certain areas if you don't need to go to the phone section. Yeah. Like a food shop. That was disgusting. Pop Do you remember pizza. that? Yeah. Did not like these pizza pockets, but that pizza looks good. We are now in the snack aisle. Of everything in Costco. What is going on in your head? You? This guy. This guy. What is this guy doing? This is so interesting. This is what I mean. It's so fascinating seeing what, other, what takes other people's fancy. Is that what you're looking at? I thought you'd pick up jelly beans. Uh, Not I taking do. your fancy. You love jelly beans. Oh, love, love you. Heart. It is breakfast time and we've got all of the bits that we need. And Jesse specifically said I must have this before I eat anything. But I actually think you're supposed to have it. Yeah, it says preferably with food. So I better have some food as well. Um, so I need to have my vitamins. Jesse is such a vitamin stan. He loves them. He also has given us an axe melt, which yet again, he also loves. So I think we should just have this now. Should I just neck it? I haven't had an axe melt in years. I feel like this used to be, we'd always have these. I feel like on, we'd have these as a treat at breakfast club. So chin chin. Can I do it all in one? Let's see. Can't do it all in one. It's ever so refreshing on the throat. 
That feels like, feels like I can breathe clearly. It feels like it's just sold my hay fever. That's actually really good. I was not expecting to enjoy that quite so much as so I enjoyed that. That, that was wonderful. Like brother, like sister pastries. Pastries are the best um, from Costco. Although recently, I feel like they've been slacking um, and they haven't been as fresh as they used to be. So I'm just gonna see. Oh, they are just friends. They do not want to leave each other. I have to take those. I'm gonna go for a little pan of shock. Some cherries on the side. Ooh, they're blue. Very on brand for me. Okay, I rate this a solid, I'd say it's solid nine out of 10. What could take it to a 10 is if he let me have a little spread with the pastries and a hot water. I totally would have picked these pastries, so. They are so dry these days. Let's see what the cherries are saying. Mm. Mm hmm I love cherries, they're my favorite fruit. The croissant's actually a lot better than Pan Chocolat, and I wasn't expecting that. Absolutely phenomenal, 10 out of 10 breakfast. Um, Jesse's knocked it out of the park. Time for a little baby blue vitamin. I hate taking your hands. I'm so skeptical about vitamins. I'm like, does that actually do anything? No, in my head, it doesn't. It is snack time. And Jesse weirdly picked these bloobs. Now I've only got a few left because I actually gave them the rest to my dad to take to school. Um, but we have got these chocolate hazelnut beignets, which I've never tried before. So let's give these a whirl. I don't think I've ever delved into the dry blueberry world and it's not really a thing. They kind of look like little tiny rabbit poops. Right. They're not really, they're not really doing anything for me. Underwhelming, not great. Whereas these chocolate hazelnut beignets look phenomenal. Oh my goodness, that is unreal. It's literally like hazelnut in the middle. It is soft and pillowy and it's like powdered sugar on the outside. Oh, that is unreal. I can eat about 20 of those. It's actually probably a good thing that dad took the rest to his staff room because mm, it's so soft and mm. It is lunchtime and for lunchtime, Jesse went rogue. He went for the Kirkland chicken and pesto pasta salad. I just didn't think out of everything in Costco he would pick this. It does look pretty good. I feel like pesto pasta is just always good. Do you know what I mean? And I love, and oh, that is wonderful. I love these little balls of mozzarella. Why are they so much better when they're in a tiny little... This is an exquisite choice and it's super hot today. And this is nice and cold and refreshing. Mmm, I'm really into it. This is so good. This is exactly what I wanted actually. This is perfect summer day food. I so want to know what everyone's go-to Costco thing is. This is just so interesting. Like, I have everything Jesse picked this. And there's so much choice. It is so good. So I feel like this would be so easy to recreate at home. Mozzarella, spinach, chicken, tomato, pesto. I feel like, oh, there are pine nuts in it. Oh my gosh, it's got, it's got everything going for itself. This, if this pesto pass was unhinged, it'd be snapped up. That was flipping amazing and exactly what the doctor ordered. Now in the Booth family, we're very much, we like to have a little sweet treat after we've had our lunch. And Jesse has given me two options. He's really on his fruit at the moment, really hitting the fruit point. Um, so he's given us some donut peaches. I don't know why the fruit in Costco just tastes better. Like, what is that about? And then we're gonna have one of these. Eat pastry cookie dough core. But it looks pretty good. I don't want the salty caramel one. I think I want just the good old chocolate chip. I'm so intrigued about this cookie dough core. I feel like I don't look like me today. It might be the hay fever. I'm making my face look a different shape. Like, I just don't look like me. Um. <gasps> Oh, this looks very interesting. Hmm, that's pretty good. It's got like this little chocolate bit in the middle. And it's really good. Quite Moorish. It's not as sickly sweet as normal cookie dough and not as thick. I quite like this. It doesn't taste as good as that cookie dough that you can buy online. What a great day we're having. I'm sorry, but it's just reveling the great day. Banksy? Come and say hi, don't be rude. And then we've got a peach, but I mean, <laughs> it's a peach, isn't it? It's three o'clock and it is time for a little afternoon snack. We are gonna be having these, which they claim to be the granddaddy of all snacks. 
which is totally something my brother would say. These just caught his attention apparently. Jalapeno clouds. Now I have always seen these and been intrigued by them. I don't think I'm gonna like them because I'm not really good with spice. But I just love this packet, it's so magnificent. We just don't get, like you would not get crisps this big in England. It's just not something that happens. These look so flipping interesting. What are they gonna taste like? I'm so intrigued. Costco just slay after slay after slay. Slay all the day. Mmm. I would like these in a different flavour. Like in a salted or a salt and vinegar or a cracked black pepper. Because the jalapeno, there is a warmth there. There's definitely a kick, a little bit of spicy spice. Um, but texturally, I've never really had anything like it. It's kind of a cross between combo mix from MS and snack jacks and crisps. In the middle, there's like a extra crispy crunchy bit amazing absolutely amazing they are spicy but they're worth it love them this is why i love doing videos like this because i'd have never found out about these if i hadn't been for jesse i need to know if they do other flavors in them because i love them dinner tonight is this spiced goat curry which looks very lovely very rogue choice from jesse out of everything in costco um i mean i love a goat curry but i really like our friend's goat curry and i don't think it's going to measure up to this one um and i also don't know what it comes with so let's see because i feel like it's not going to come with anything but normally costco meals have like everything with them um even a little garnish oh oh not what i thought <laughs> oh kind of misleading picture i thought it was going to come with the rice and the bread then he's also picked some sort of sourdough bread and we're gonna rub it with this chimichurri butter very interesting okie dokie the curry is in the oven warming up and these are what the little flatbreads look like and it says put these in for five minutes and on the last two minutes you want to add your little chimichurri butter so in she goes so the breads are warm and now i'm just pouring this chimichurri butter all over it hopefully the butter will melt this smells amazing this little goat curry delicious yeah, this bread is really good mm -hmm. what do you think of the lamb grace it doesn't taste goaty we finished the goat curry. Mixed reviews, not everyone loved. Um, Dad, however. <laughs> yeah, I like the flavour. I like the meat. I like the sauce. I didn't like the fat and the lumps. Yeah, it was quite fatty. And then mum wasn't keen on the flavour. Tom? Mm. Mixed bag. Yeah, six, six out of ten. My grand finale, we're going for the crepes. But Jessie specified warm. So let's heat this sucker up. I don't think I've actually had the ones from Costco before. Maybe I have, I don't know. Let's see, 10 seconds. Everyone has a problem with crepes these days, but I found out that it's because a lot of people used to have to have them as their school lunch. Why do people not like crepes? What do they do to them? I just think it should be always something that comes straight out of a pan. Yeah. It should it's be not, made or processed. The crepe in a packet is a completely different thing, like Nespresso, like a grand coffee um, Nescafe. My age, I can afford to be. Yeah. That is a bit sad. Exactly. It's ice... so limp. I think you have ice cream with it. Flying it's not even ice. melted in the Flying. middle. There's little donuts. Oh, yeah, I forgot about them. Oh, yeah, she found them. Dad is looking horrible <laughs> stuff. Fine. We are on the Thank second you. crepe. <laughs> because they get more to try it. <laughs> How do they do it? Like, what is what this? I would rate the day. You would rate the day? A six out of 10. What are we talking about right now? The Costco. Oh. Well, why have we just been talking about fishing and food and you just jumped the gun? And... Thanks for helping me, Jess. It's all right. Are you proud of your choices? If I noticed for the family, I would have. No, it was just dinner that was for the fam. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you didn't tell me what to do. I just picked food that I probably would have ate. That was the that that was the whole purpose. So thanks, Jess. Can we get a thank you to J Dog in the Hayes house? Have a seat. Yeah. Peace out. Enjoy life. No. Peace out. I don't know what you say. What's your? Do you have a? That is so rude. Dad, do I have a catchphrase?
Does she have a catchphrase for YouTube? Yeah, you have these headphones. Yes! Do you still use that? All the time! It's a bit old. It's like a catchphrase. Catchphrase tends to stick around. Yeah, it's true. You yeah. might need a new one. No! Peace out, punks! Peace out, punks. Punctually. I bet you need some more inspiration in there. Go away. I am going away, that's a bit mean.